This is Soy. And this is Dyra. And you're listening to Hair Hair and Whatever. Whatever. Unfiltered Salon Talk. Hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so, and I are here, hair and whatever. And today we have a special guest, Shanika Adam. <laughs> hey, y'all. How y'all hey, doing? Good. <laughs> Yay. Thank you for coming. So, yes, what are we talk about? Me. So, today we're going to talk about um, curly cuts versus straight cuts. And we are talking about. Um, being a modern feminist woman with Shanika Adams. Okay. Yeah, we can talk about that. Because uh-huh. I know all about that. You're right. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, um, but first, before anything, let's get into the hair crown of the week. She and looks so cute. She looks cute. I really don't know who she is. She's just a regular girl. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, not a regular girl. She is. I know what you mean, girl. Right. Um, not famous, and her name is Vanessa Jones. I, mm-hmm. I can't pronounce it. Yeah, it was on um, Afro Latinas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and then she looks good. She has, she has to... two like ponytails, and it's like puffs, like going. Y'all see it on here. Yeah, it's real creative. Right. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, curly cut versus straight cut. So everybody want to do the curly cut. So Everyone. what is a curly cut? <laughs> So basically, a curly cut, you know, by definition for me is when you are cutting your hair in the curly state. Right. You know, where yeah. it's not blown out, the hair is in its natural state, and you're cutting your hair. And that doesn't mean that it's wet. So a curly cut is a dry cut, uh-huh. and your hair is obviously curly, and they're not, like, stretching it out, like, mm-hmm. you know, to get the straight. So it's, So essentially... When I got the curly cut, because I got a curly cut, when they were cutting it, um, they trying to they're trying to frame it because you have maybe sometimes three B or three C in mm-hmm. your hair, so mm-hmm. one side may be curlier than the other, mm-hmm. and so they were, they just try to shape it so where it's like an even shape. Mm-hmm. But yeah. when you straighten it out, it looks a hot ass mess. It looks like <laughs> somebody <laughs> chewed on your hair. And to me, you know, when I, I have, I named my service curly cut, but it's not, I don't cut it wet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, right. like. I mean, but you do cut, you cut it wet. I mean, that's what I meant. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I do cut it wet. That's what right. I meant. I don't cut it dry. So, you, you're you able to kind of, like, pull yeah. the hair. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then the straight cut is. It's basically you blown out your hair and it's flat ironed and mm-hmm. you're cutting it straight, you know. Um, and so. We like to say, you know, curly cut versus straight cut is like a case by case. When, when you should get a curly cut is if you're only going to wear your hair curly in its curly state. You're mm-hmm. talking about a curly, but see, my curly cuts, they can wear their hair both. Right, but, but I'm, I'm saying like, about, like I'm, talk, the, I'm talking about like, you know, diva cut, riso cut, um, the Jewish curl doctor cut, yeah. or whatever he names his cut. <laughs> Um, what Mona cut, you right. know, there's so many cuts, you know, yeah, everybody throwing their name attached. To right. A cut. And, and, you know, they're curly, they're, which is fine. Right. Just, they're curly. And that's the only time that you should get a curly cut. If you're that okay, kind of curly cut. Exactly. You're OK with wearing your hair just curly. curly. Right. 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 But not if you're going to be going transitioning back and forth. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm going to say it. So when I did get my Riso cut, mm-hmm. they said that. I was able to transition, and that's the reason why. Because right. I trans, obviously, my hair is straight. Um, I was able to transition from mm-hmm. curly to straight, but that was a lie. Yeah, it looked really horrible. Yeah, <laughs> my shit was jacked the fuck oh up. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I got my hair cut too, but I did it. It was uh, it was blown out, and then it was cut. So I could transition. Right. So, yeah, I didn't do it curly. And see, that's what we say. You know, like, that's what I feel like um, needs to be out here for, like, the stylist. They need to make a, they need to differentiate, like, and do a case-by-case consultation with their client. Mm -hmm. Like, look, yo, what are you going to do? Are you going to wear your hair curly all the time or are you going to wear your hair straight? Right. But like you said, 
she got the the lady was like, yeah, you yeah, know, you can transition I did, back and yeah, forth. Yeah, I did my but research. Still looked a hot mess. Right. So right. maybe you know you need to do a little bit you know, more research or whatever before, you know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> before you kind of like um, schedule with one of those stylists that do these cuts, especially if you want to go transition back and forth. Right. Because yeah. we've yeah. had we've had people that booked right mm -hmm. for a curly cut. And still, even when you when you're depending on the texture, right? Because yeah. you can be in the fours, and it's it's hard. It's a it's harder, harder to cut and get it as straight as possible because right. you extend the hair and cut it, but then like it still shrinks back up. Exactly. So in order to see it like in a straight line, it's really hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but you can get it as straight as possible. Right. Right. So when the person does come in and does like a uh, straightens their hair, it's not as as bad yeah you know yeah and so it's case by case and we had people that okay no i'm gonna straighten my hair today yeah and i'm gonna cut it yeah and we recommend it yeah you know? we had people come in and be like you know be on a book for a curly cut and they have like 4c hair or even in the threes and then then and then they're like nah like well it's probably best for me to just go ahead and, right and yeah cut it mm -hmm. straight mm -hmm. yeah um i think that you just need to like in deciding which one to get, you need to be aware of your hair type, you know, um, and know what it is and what um, is the best cut for you, you know, like. And, and also, like, people, um, like, because the whole how now is the curly hair movement and how they're marketing mm -hmm. everything is, like, get a curly cut and they, they're not doing their research behind everything yeah. you know messing up these people here yeah right. <laughs> really messing it up you know and it's just like it's it's you know i get it like it's a whole marketing movement you know it's a marketing thing like you know cutting your hair because a lot of girls you know they don't want to straighten their hair which is fine but you you know you kind of really need to figure out what you're go if you're really going to just like only wear your hair right like curly if you're going to go out for one of these cuts. Yeah. Right. Because I've even seen like, you know, like, you know, the diva cut and clients come in and they've had the diva cut and then they want to get their hair straightened. And I'm like, this is all disconnected. Like, and you can't even like, you know, hide it. You know, do yeah. some curls and hide it. Yeah. No, it's it needs to be cut, and, <laughs> and, and it's a lot. People need to cut a lot. Like yeah. I had to cut so much when yeah. I did my curly cut. Mm -hmm. Like I I had a huge cut. Mm -hmm. You were like, what? Like what is going on? And it looked fabulous when it was curly. Curly, yeah. But that's you know, like you really have to as a client, you really need to decide. Like listen, like if you're gonna go for one of these cuts. Just wear your hair curly. Right. You know, don't listen to where you can go back and forth. But with my curly cut, the way that I do mine, <laughs> you right. know, you know, I do it wet where I can stretch the hair out. So, and I don't cut it curl by curl like that. I cut it right, the same way I cut it straight. That's what a lot curly. of people do. They cut it like, you know, they, they bring the curl and then <laughs> cut it like how the, the curl naturally falls. Right. So they cut it individually and they kind of shape it depending how you want it because mm -hmm. sometimes you may want bangs or you know or yeah. you want that big fro which is how you i want it volume and you want it to have layer a layered effect or whatever <laughs> but i now i just get like my layers yeah and and my layers have always worked for me don't tell me i don't know why the fuck i decided to <laughs> get a curly cut well the reason why was because like i wanted you to wanted kinda, to see i wanted to see the whole hype yeah. and what they were doing and right. how they were also marketing it like okay well you can't transition from both and i asked I mm -hmm. asked her. I was like, can I wear my... Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, see? And, you know, and she's a sweetheart. Like, I love her and what she stands for. Mm -hmm. Like, her, her whole curly movement. hair movement. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, like, don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know. She probably doesn't know. Because I feel like this is like a, you know, I told you, it's the Wild Wild West out but here. But maybe, and curl, maybe and, I can see that. Natural hair. Maybe it works like a curly cut and it won't be so far off if you have, like, you're in the twos. I don't know. I mean, I just feel like a cut is a cut and it just needs to be consistent all the way through the board. Like I, like I said, I cut the same way in a curly state that I cut in a straight state. Well, I'm saying, like, you know, how if it's a curly cut, 
and it's the, they're cutting the hair while it's dry, and it's the it's like a wavy, and they're all falling the same. That it they can maybe transition. I don't know. Remember that girl at the hair show? Her hair was wavy, and he still cut her hair uh, uh, wet. Remember? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's doing it the Carly right way. So. Yeah. yeah, but he's, that's what I'm saying. He's doing it the right way, but I'm saying maybe like you know the curl doctor. Girl, by the way, know. by the way, and they and they also say like a lot of the the people who the curly they believe that you are not supposed to curly people are not supposed to straighten their hair ever. Like I've heard some of the people say who with the curly cut that oh goodness right <laughs> like so what so I'm just stuck here with just curly hair like I don't get to I know nothing about this movement me listen <laughs> yeah are, are you are you natural yeah but you know I don't. You know, I do what I want with my hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what looks yeah. good. I and, feel, you know, and yeah. I feel like that's the yeah. the the goal. That should, you know, I feel Absolutely. like you shouldn't be just like trapped <laughs> to like, oh, you got curly hair, so you don't ever need to pick up a blow dryer. <laughs> oh, you got curly hair, so you don't ever need to straighten it out. Do like, what's I, best for your hair. Right, like, right. And I you, think if it's healthy, if you're transitioning. <laughs> You should you can't you shouldn't put like heat on it all yeah, the time. Of course, no, of course not. Right. Yeah. So if you want to completely transition, yeah. Because I wear my hair curly um, ninety percent of the time, mm-hmm. and I still like to put fucking heat in my hair because I fucking want to. Exactly. Can nobody tell me what I can and cannot do with my curls? Right. And if and that's on me because my my curls are not to its fullest potential. Mm-hmm. One because I have color, and two because I put heat in my hair. Yeah. And so I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with my curls not being at its fullest potential. Right. You know? We sacrifice that for a little bit of color and a little bit of heat. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you But gotta, as long as it's healthy. Exactly. Because I have day. healthy hair. Mm-hmm. You know, I still have my curls. I still, yep. you know, my shit is not falling out or, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. We got all our edges. Right. We yeah. got all our edges. We have our edges. <laughs> Don't judge my hair right now. Look a hot mess. <laughs> it needs to be done. Come It'll on, be- soy. Listen. Hair and whatever. I know. Oh, but yes. listen, by the time Monday rolls around, this is, has been a week. I know. Yeah. So that's <laughs> why weekend. my hair be looking. Right. And then the weekend be popping sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what you be doing? I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, <laughs> <laughs> but all right, yeah. So th- that's our two cents on the straight cut versus yeah. the uh, curly cut. Um, just do your knowledge, your research, and know what you're doing and what you're getting yourself into. Uh-huh. And you know, don't let it happen. What happened to me <laughs> with my curly cut? Um, so like that, you're you're not like you know where her shit was chewed out. Like some cats just got to it and just oh, damn. Like, <laughs> Damn, sorry. I know. <laughs> Why gotta be all that? <laughs> but I fixed you, girl. I fixed you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do your research. Um, find out if it's the best for you. If you're transitioning, um, you know, you still need a haircut. Go see a professional. Yeah. Make sure they know what the fuck they're doing because right. that's another thing. People are just talking just to talk, mm-hmm. and you know, be a part of the movement. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's my two cents. Yep. That's my three cents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into the slipped into the DMs. Um, and we have Alicia from Boston, and she's like, I added a green rinse to my dark brown hair, and it just got darker. How can I make it show? There's so many things wrong with this. Okay, first of all, you doing color at home. No. And... Um, <laughs> Second, she hates the word rinse, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Second, the word rinse, which is just, I feel like it's, you need to stop. Like, it's like, it's either hair color, permanent color. But they're like not professional. I get it. But just let's just change the vernacular when it comes to like, we can, (laughs) we can push that along and stop using rinse, hair color. But you know what they're talking about. Yeah, but she's talking about she put direct color in her hair which is a fashion color which is green and she's wondering why it didn't cover because first she should have went to a professional and second she needed to she has dark hair so if you put a green on your hair your hair is just going to get dark it's not even going to show right like you need the color needs your hair needs to be lifted and then deposited right so that's why you need to go see a professional alicia right 
Yeah. Yeah, um, that's what I did when I had my pur- my purple hair. Mm-hmm. I didn't put it on just dark hair because it's not going to show. Yeah, it's not so going to show. So I went from um, bleached hair to then putting straight color into my hair. So, right. yeah, Alicia, go see a professional. Yeah. They right. make us go get licenses and stuff like that to do hair color, and then they sell the, the, the hair, hair color, color to, to, to regular people. Right. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy as hell. Like, you cannot, like, as a professional, you can't do if you're doing it, but they sell it to everyone yeah. else yeah. out I there. Yeah, I do it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, so let's get into the whatever portion, mm-hmm. Unfiltered Salon Talk, with yeah. Shanika Adams, and she talks. She, she's here to talk about being a modern feminine woman. <laughs> I love it. Yes. yes. So I tell us about that. yourself and your platform, uh, Simply Shanika. Okay, well, I'm Shanika Adams. Hey. I- <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Hey, okay. I, I am a published model, actress, entrepreneur, but that's what I do now. I have a hair extensions company. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that since 2013, and then I started my blog, Simply Shanika, mm-hmm. and then it turned into this entire women empowerment thing. It started out, honestly, as a way for me to document my plastic surgery journey Mm. oh really yeah (laughs) and then it kind of just took off from there and then i just transitioned it into a woman's feminine level up blog so um i know you just so i'm I'm gonna ask questions a lot (laughs) yeah you said a lot so so you're i'm interested in plastic surgery Uh what did you get done so i had full body liposuction what is that like they put you to sleep and suck the fat out of your body i need that (laughs) Yeah, so I did So that. your arms? I did my arms, really? back, stomach, yeah, my entire body. And you don't have any, like, scarring or anything? No, like, not, like tiny little ones, like, uh-huh. you know, that I could, you know, you can get rid of, like, be- bleaching the skin and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's so little, right. it's not even noticeable. But I did that, and then I had my boobs done, mm-hmm. and okay. I had dental work. Oh, oh yes. wow. Well, you look great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So I did a whole transformation. Shoot, I need so. to do that after these three babies. <laughs> I need to yes. do all of that. Thank you. So yeah. did you I, do it here in the states? No. So I went and got the plastic, the liposuction in Colombia, South America. Oh, you did. Mm-hmm. I'm scared. <laughs> and then I did my boobs in Miami. Okay. And then I did my teeth here in Atlanta. Did you go see Doctor Miami? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so would you recommend that? Would you recommend going to Colombia? Because I've heard people going to I, DR, Colombia, Mexico. I do. I mean, I do, just as long as you do your research and, yeah. you know, make sure the doctor is licensed and mm-hmm. things like that. But I do. Girl, mm-hmm. I'm on real I'm obsessed with real self. Yeah. I'm on real self all the time oh, looking yeah. at people's makeover and, uh, l- like, plastic surgery stories. <laughs> I watch um, Dr. Miami's um, uh, Snapchat stories. You do? And yeah. I, I, like, I'm obsessed with looking at, like, the whole like him doing it and all that stuff i don't like to look at it it's it's something that i definitely don't want to ever go through again the whole process i mean for one it is very expensive really okay Mm -hmm. like yeah people think that you just pay for the plastic surgery portion but it doesn't end there it's literally after you do all of this it's a lifestyle that you have to keep up with now why would you so so do you feel like you couldn't get the results working out or you just wanted the fast? Did you want the fast way or you was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm about uh, to. No, I did. So before I actually went and got the surgery, I lost 15 pounds. Okay. I lost a total of 52 pounds oh, in wow. total. Okay, with, yes. with the with the surgery, surgery and, and exercising the... everything. Right. Totally, yes. So I lost a total of 52 pounds. But exercise is the most important thing. So yeah. the plastic surgery is is just like putting on makeup. Yeah, I, I guess it's just kind of like um, you know the extra ex- yeah the, you know right. things to help you. But you literally have to stay dedicated to a lifestyle. Yeah, for the rest of, of your, your life, life, where you're gonna right. gain you know, gain back. the weight back. And yeah. I've seen that happen so many times. Yeah. So it's really just a lifestyle thing. Mm-hmm. But it can be expensive. It can yeah. be expensive. So you do the what? What's your upkeep? As far as oh diet exercise, so you exercise. That's the most important thing. Right. Oh yeah, I go to the gym at least three, four times. That's not bad. I could do three times a week. Yeah, it's it's that it's hard though. Don't get me wrong. It's hard. Girl, please. I know. Oh, you know you don't want to get up and go. Man, I fell off that. Sometimes I 
you know, I don't want to go, so I'll fall off for like two weeks, but I have to keep going. Yeah. I like to eat and drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's my issue. Right. Yeah. Drinking. That's, that's my issue. That's my, my issue. You know, I'm just drinking. Love my that's wine. my advice. I love my wine. I love everything. Oh, Whiskey, God. honey, tequila, <laughs> like all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I love my wine and I just, I love dinner dates and going out. Like, right. I just love that. So I have to work out or else I'm going to. Gain right, all that weight back. Right back. Yeah. And the thing about it is when you get the plastic surgery, the weight, the liposuction in particular, it will come back, but it will come back in different little pockets. Right. So it'll no. look weird. Right. I'm sure you guys have seen maybe some I, women. Yeah, I know. You I know, know what you're talking you know what about. I mean? yeah. yeah. And that's what happens because it doesn't come back in the same spot. Because they, so they kill the fat, right? right. They, kill they kill the those, fat. yeah. Mm-hmm. So then it'll find someplace else. Somewhere else. And so then you're looking, looking like blown yeah. up in your face or something like that. <laughs> right, so you'll have like a lump of fat like right here. Oh, hell no. oh, wow. And your stomach is still flat right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's why dieting and exercising is so important. I stress that mm-hmm. 100%. And you can obtain the same results without getting plastic surgery. Right. You can. I just had a vision for what I wanted myself to look like Yeah. in plastic surgery could give me that result mm-hmm. so that's it that's all there is I'm gonna have to starve myself to look <laughs> like an Asian boy I always say I wanna look like an Asian boy she's a that's a lie y'all yes. <laughs> don't pay her no mind actually we can, you can just fast forward oh god <laughs> cause she's just yes. talking shit mm-hmm. <laughs> um so you share like aff- affirmations on your platform mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um do you feel like affirmations help you? Absolutely. Yeah. Every day in my life, that's all I'm thinking about are, you know, saying positive things to myself. You know, we have to realize that we have the most conversations with ourselves. We do. Mm-hmm. That chatter you know? in the brain. Yeah, the chatter in your brain. Yeah. Right. And a lot of times that can be negative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you're thinking about things that haven't even happened. Yeah. You're thinking about things you probably shouldn't be worried about. Mm -hmm. You know, your mind is just in a million places and affirmations help calm that down and help you remain focused on, you know, what you want and how you're trying to cultivate your life. And especially for women that are just trying to level up their lives and heal themselves, it's definitely a good tool to have because right. it can help you with that as well yeah I so that. i definitely stand by affirmations meditation i was just going to say meditation know. to quiet that Absolutely. chatter sometimes because the, <laughs> if you really sit and think about the stuff that goes through your mind yeah, right? especially you're, when you're, you're in the shower you're Absolutely. a fucking crazy person like it's just like the things that just like are just like it's always talking Absolutely. what's the name of the book that the guy was saying that you should um i was i was listening to audiobook Remember, and you were like, um, oh, I, I forgot. Did, yeah, yeah, damn it, I can't remember that. Yeah. But it was just um, basically he was saying that um, conversations with conversations with your souls. Forgot the name of it. Anyway, but it was basically saying that like you need to quiet that chatter. You do. You like you, you have to quiet that chatter you sometimes do. Right. because you have to. it's just like madness like the stuff and it'll go on and on and on and on on, you know and he was just saying like if a best friend was talking that much you would just be like girl (laughs) exactly shut the fuck up up. right Right. Right. but that's how our mind is right it just would not stop you know you know especially like i know i hear like when when you're in the shower like you're always like Oh my God! And I gotta do this. Yeah. and I gotta do that. And you done plant yourself right. all the way out the door. And I'm like, and and I'm always like, I always calm down, mm-hmm. and I and I just breathe when I'm showering, yeah. and that just like all the way calms me down. Yeah. To the point where I'm just like, like so relaxed. Right. You know. So like. You gotta do that. Yeah. You have to. Even when you're like, even when you can't sleep at night, yeah. it's because of that because right. you're constantly yeah. thinking yeah, about the, something. You, you're thinking about. All the stuff, everything. everything. When you should just just chill. calm your mind Man. and focus on the things that you want to manifest. Right. The things that you think about and the things that you speak out there into the universe, that's how you manifest your life. Oh yeah, your word is your wand. You know, yeah. that's what that's what our life pretty much is. It's a manifestation. Yeah. That's it. That's it. This life that we're living in. Everything that has hap- is happening right now is mm-hmm. from your thought, your past thoughts. Yes. You know, it's like your thoughts. All of this that's mm-hmm. manifested right now mm-hmm. and then all to come is what your you thoughts right, right now. now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's really Do you really feel deep. like you've manif- manifested like things into your life Girl, because yes. of like <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. My life and what it is right now and what it's going to be, I always am manifesting. 
and when I speak, I always speak like it's happened. I always right. feel like it's happened to me. So you don't and counter it. Absolutely not. I'm right. I'm that confident in the things that I want, the things that I have, and what I want for my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the confidence that I always have. Yeah. And you got to always have that confidence, no matter if people... Some people look at me like I'm crazy when I talk like that or talk mm-hmm. like this about myself. And I'm like, well, what else am I supposed to say? I'm right. confused. Like, yeah. Am I not supposed to speak highly of myself mm-hmm. and, you know, talk about the things that I want and the yeah. things that I want to accomplish? That of you already you have, that is Absolutely. coming to you. It's coming and it's mine. Yeah. So you have to always be positive in your mind and with the things that you want. Don't yeah. care what nobody has to say about yeah. it. It's okay, your life. Girl. And it so. takes practice, guys. And it <laughs> oh, takes, it does. And, you know, it takes practice <laughs> and it takes, you know, like a little bit of research. Like I recommend a book that's um, that's gotten me through some stuff and mm-hmm. it's um, um, The Game of Life. Yeah. You know, the Game of yeah. Life is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've read and that book a couple anything, of times. Yeah, but anything by Abraham Hicks. Oh, Abraham Hicks. I is, love is, her. Is, oh, my it, God. Yeah, it's I, I have, the, like, YouTube yeah. all, like, yeah. all day her. Like, yeah. I love Abraham Hicks. Yeah. yeah She's good, great. Yeah. So mm-hmm. make sure you just, when you're just thinking about all day, throughout, throughout the day, just make sure your thoughts are positive. That's yeah. the most important thing yeah. to remember. Yeah. That's it. Girl. <laughs> I, I think I need you in my life. <laughs> Everybody needs a friend like me. Yeah. Yes. So I can have you when I'm um, raising hell in the morning the with, my, with my child. Simply, simply Shanika. I get you together. Oh, I That's love it. I and speaking of that, so you say that you're a modern feminist, feminine woman. Uh-huh. So is that like, do you feel like there's a contradiction or like explain that and modern yeah. feminine? No, feminist. modern. I keep saying feminine. No, feminist. Um, just a modern feminine woman. I'm mm-hmm. not a feminist. I don't really. I I don't really. I wouldn't say support the feminist movement. I mm-hmm. I do in a sense, but you know, I don't want equality to men. <laughs> I want to, you know, okay. be a feminine woman. I don't really okay. care too. about making as much but money that, but as that guys. Is, but the stuff, feminist, you know? the feminist movement is all about, and some people preach both. Like some pe- some women want the, you know, being a feminist and mm-hmm. you know, equal rights. Yeah. And I'm not for equal rights. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to be. You know. I'm not guys. about that. I'm all right? for. I will fight for the women. If the women want that, that's fine. But why does it have to be a collective? I don't. You know, like I want to be. I guess let's a modern, talk about a, 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 a feminine woman. You know, the stay-at-home woman that's taking care of the house and the kids. I don't want to have to be out here worried about slaving away, girl. Trying worrying to split about bills. The bag and you know. Split the bi- I don't want to split bills. I'm not doing that. But what if, what if, okay, so th- <laughs> so what do you say to that that woman, right, who wants to get the bag, mm-hmm. and yet you guys are both working. Yeah, splitting, that's fine. Splitting the bills, right? That part, no. <laughs> so you, so I want to circle back, too, about uh, equal rights, because I feel like we should have equal rights. Like, you know, like, I mean, we should have, I feel like, the same pay as men. Yeah, you should. If you get like a that. job that's, yeah, yeah. If you get a, a job that's, you know, at the equal of a guy, then you should get the same, same pay right. as him. Yeah. I agree with that 100%, but right. I'm just not trying to, you know, Split fight bills. this battle and, you know, masculinity is not a threat. It's something that I like. I Me mean, too, girl. Yeah. So... I kind of feel like that. And then it's like now for a woman to say that she has these standards, you get shunned upon. Mm -hmm. You know, people look at you like you're crazy when you say that. And I'm like, why? Well, because of the whole movement (laughs) of the independent woman. I'm tired. (laughs) I want to go sit down somewhere. I feel you. I mean, I get it. Like, I love, you know. But you want to get the bag and still. Absolutely. I do. And And you can do that. Okay, so you want the man to pay all the bills, save your money, and I mean, it's just a question. For okay, me. okay, so this is how this is my perfect life. Like, I do, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go ahead and create my, like, have my platform, have my passions right. and everything, and have my own bag, and then I want to, like, I could take care of the kids, take care of the household, right. you know, plan the trips, right. like plan our, you know, the finances You mean pay of the for house. it? Like pay for it? No. No. Not pay for it. <laughs> but okay. like just Me like, and her think the same. Right. I, I get what you right. mean. You, this is your because, platform like this. You can so you do don't this and go home nothing. and still take care of your kids. Exactly. But you're not slave in a way where you have trying to be taken to, completely away from that. Exactly. So where I'm trying right. to be worried about Absolutely. like securing the right. bag. Right. right. Because for me, like if my man can't take care of me, so you don't that max- masculinity it's gonna be dry down there and i'm not gonna want to sleep with you <laughs> so you don't care about like um securing the bag 
No, I do care about securing a bag, but I want to be like. For me, an attract uh, an attraction to a man is him providing and taking care of his family. hundred percent. And taking. I feel so, like so for for that taking care because that could be something else like you know taking care of um, your family could be a, a man in some relationships is a man staying at home. That's not going to work for me and taking care of the kids because I'm not going to want to sleep with you. It's gonna. It's to me. It's not masculine. To, for a man to, like, stay at home with the kids. I want my man to be out there bringing back the bag. I'm going to look at him. I'm going to admire him and be like, oh, right. my God. Like, he's taking care of us. He's providing for us. Yeah. And that works for some people. This is no shade for uh, your situation. Right. Your situation. That you got that going That works on. for Absolutely. certain people. Right. I just also believe, like, I feel like certain women um, with this whole feminist movement, which I don't agree with, I, I believe that, you know, if we're both, you, you listen, I'm not about to, because I'm about to get this bag, right? right. Uh-huh. I, I want that. Like, I want Yeah, to you want to have a, a, a But I'm a, not coming home. Passion. I'm not coming home after I finish this podcast to cook and slave. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nah, right. I get no, you. No, we, yeah, we, we, you have to, you know, like, if we, I want you to cook. Yeah. I find that sexy. A man that can cook. Right. You know, or even like, babe, I got it. Like, you know, I ran to Whole Foods or I ran mm-hmm. and I got this. Right. You know, and provided a meal. I don't yeah. mind. You know, I wouldn't mind cooking, you know, every yeah. now and then. Every now and then. Every yeah. night. Now, I don't know if I could do that because, you know, but like you said, part, I still have the things that I'm doing. Care of home. It is. It but, is. And you will always take care of home. The thing is, a woman cannot tap into her true feminine energy. Mm-hmm. And give that man what he needs to continue being that masculine man that feels good to go out and work hard and do all of that. If she's working. If she's overworked and stressed no. out. And that's me you, right now. It, right. right. You cannot, you cannot give, that, that, you like can't give that to him. Exactly. So you cannot. that's the thing. So that is what the, the women, what we give to men is our divine femininity. Mm-hmm. How right. can you give that to him? If, if you running around, right, you can't even. you don't even... respect him, if right. you're stressed out, yeah. you got to go to work, come home, take, figure out how to take care of the kids, kids, cook, call work, with bills, and have sex. And, right, and have sex. <laughs> yeah. You want me to suck your dick? Right. <laughs> like, so it's real. a lot. Like, the role of a woman is, is a lot. So I just think that a man, the only thing that most women are requiring is just if you... Just take care of home. Make sure the bills are right. paid. Make sure and we I'm keep all, our roof listen, over our head. Baby, if you, and be that masculine you man. Me, yes, be that alpha masculine right. man. I don't want That's no baby man. Listen, if you want me to take care of the kids and you're going to pay all the bills and you're going to give me. I can do that 1,000%. And you're going to give me some money. You're going to give me my, like. <laughs> and you're going to make, and you're going to. And get, because of that, you're going to raise his vibrations too because your vibrations yeah. will raise. Because right. you respect exactly. him. You love him. Yeah. And you look at him as someone you can depend on. Right. Because he's doing his job as a man even if god forbid anything happened right right he still has the determination right or whatever determination to be like you know what i'm still gonna go figure it out right right you know that's the whole thing about it Mm -hmm. and i and i agree with that like listen if you want me to stay at home i'm gonna stay at home Mm -hmm. you know but Mm -hmm. i need to get paid i need to get paid to stay at home (laughs) right because i i can't i can't always depend on you and that's why certain women wanted to go out and work yeah. You know, and wanted to get a job. Because you know? things were that. changing. Because things were changing. And, you know, like, I don't know. Like I, But here, I, will al- I always say this in saying all of that, mm-hmm. you know, in wanting the man to be the provider is we still have to have a leg to fall back on regardless yeah. of who you are with and what they're doing for you. You got to have something to fall back on. So if it's you doing hair, exactly. you know, that you should always, you know, have... whatever your podcast, whatever, selling bean pods. I don't know. But <laughs> whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever, you got to still be doing something for yourself mm-hmm. because you don't want to put all of your eggs in a basket and then have that rug snatched from under you. And I've been in that. Yeah. I've been in that situation, too. too. Right. So and I it's a know. nightmare. It's a nightmare because mm-hmm. literally when you put everything you know, into someone and you trust them with your life and you're not thinking about anything. Right. And then that comes from under you, then what do you do? Yeah. Right. You're stuck. What do you do? You're stuck. You got to start all over. Right. So you just have to be prepared just for anything. What if mm-hmm. this man dies? Right. Right. You know, yeah, and that life you, insurance policy. <laughs> that too. But then he, you, you have all this money, but then you don't understand how to manage the money. Yeah. You know, you don't know how to properly invest it, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. All of these things are definitely important. 
And that's what I teach to women. It's all about just being a high-value woman. So, yes, I talk a lot of shit, looking good. Yeah, I want men to take care of me, boom, 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 boom. But don't get it twisted. I am still have my education, my yeah, smarts, my still, money, exactly. all of those things because it's important. And yeah, men right. respect that, too. Don't mm-hmm. get it twisted. Because like, you need do. to know what you, you know. Absolutely. It's a balance. It is. It's a balance. Mm-hmm. It's a balance. Like, you can't, I can't be, you know, sitting pretty and not do nothing and not be street smart at home and right. not, you and know. And not know what to do. Not right. know what because to do. Because you still need to know how to, you know, even, like, have some interaction with him to be like, okay, well, this is what you do. Right. Like, let's talk about, like, I'm going to tell you, like, this is the investments. We should move this money here. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. You're not supposed to be just, like, you know, just this dumb bimbo at just home. Just sitting at just home thinking right. you're going to spend all somebody's thumb. money. Yeah. Then and they're at they're the end of the day, it you. doesn't matter how much, like, feminine energy you have and you're giving to that man. At the end of the day, the man is still going to fucking play you <laughs> he's still you know what Absolutely. i'm saying like it, it's you know because that man is not like appreciating that feminine energy mm-hmm. either so it's, it's about like and that comes with sync. respect per- he has to respect you because right. once you lose the respect mm-hmm. of a man i think i know that's it yeah. love ain't got shit to do with it no with, mm-hmm. it's the respect right and once he does once he no longer respects you as a woman as a person then you have nothing Right. So you have to always respect yourself. Yeah. Right. And keep yourself held to a high standard. Yeah, but sometimes that still don't even matter. It don't matter how much you respect oh. that. You know, like oh, it don't yes, matter. Yes, it does. No. And I, it, I respect myself enough to walk away if I feel like and someone you can is, walk away. Is a you can walk away, me. but that doesn't mean that he's going to be faithful. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, no, because that's on yeah. him. That's on him. Right. Right. Don't that's got what I'm, and you. that's what I'm oh, saying. Got it ain't got nothing to do with you. It don't matter how how high your frequency is. A man, if he's not, y'all not here on the same level, he's still going to do whatever he wants to do. Energy is everything. Right. You know? So how can these women find these high quality men? Or we should say, you said it in here. It says, or rather, don't ask how can, can I, I find, find a high quality, quality man. man. Rather, rather ask me. how yeah, how ask. I can construct my life in such a high quality manner that high quality men are always finding me. Well, that's again just about. Oh. That's again just just about being a, a high value woman and mm-hmm. constructing your life in that way, and you got to figure out what that means to you. I know what it means to me mm-hmm. and what I want for my life, and you don't have to completely change who you are. You just should elevate that. Yeah. And if you're tired of dealing with the same old people over and over, it can't be them. It has to be something that you're doing too. It has to be the energy that, that you are attracting. attracting. Right. So the most important thing I always tell women Go is... Go sit at the St. Regis. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's a part of it. You have to be, you have to be in those circles where high-value right. people are. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Go where do those brunch. people, where do those type of people hang out? You have to associate yourself within those circles if... Those are the type of people that you want to meet. Mm -hmm. So that's important. But the first thing is you got to have that confidence and you got to heal yourself first. I always talk about this because nobody really talks about that part. It's always about what you should look like. Yeah. Oh, I should put on this and just go sit here. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, but you ain't got nothing to say. No, you have nothing to say and you're not confident in yourself. And then, you know, you're all in your head and you're not going to have any success. Yeah. So the most important thing is to heal yourself. Yeah. And to find that love and confidence within yourself. Yeah. And then you're going to attract that, you know. You will. Like attracts like. Yep. It does. So. That's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to get yourself together, not on the outside. On the inside. Side, yeah, inside. the inside first. And inside then it first. will come to the outside. It and then will. you'll be a magnet to attract that high-quality man. Right. Yes. Yep. And then you can go sit at the same region. <laughs> <laughs> Where else you sat? Right. I, um, at the lounge. You said a... Um, what? A lounge. Did I ever want to know, girl. What where, where you say? <laughs> what lounge? <laughs> What did I, did I say? Where do you, yeah, on your um, Instagram, you were saying where you um, can position yourself. There's places that you mentioned you where you go. Out. Right. Oh no, I was talking. I think I said something about the airport and you know traveling, mm-hmm. be, becoming a member of like the Sky Lounge, the Sky Lounge. and different things like yeah. that. Yeah. So you have to think outside the box mm-hmm. if you want to meet 
high quality people. Get your Where Delta Miles hanging? together, oh. sis. Yes. Get your Delta Miles together. And that together. works. It works for me. I mean, that's how I've met, you know, amazing people in my life. Mm-hmm. That's how I've met them. Are, Are you in, in a relationship Skybox? now? Yeah, I'm. I am. I'm having fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's right, girl. <laughs> right, girlfriend. I'm having fun. <laughs> um, so okay. So I know. Um, how do you feel about like age gaps in relationships? Mm-hmm. Like, do you feel like women should date older men or should date like you know? Same I say age? the first thing I say is date who you want to date. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. But me personally, I like older sophisticated already established guys I know right. that's so true. that's that's just where I'm at with it bag. you know and I and for the women <laughs> that are like <laughs> and for the women that are like you know the women that are like maybe 40 plus 45 plus I always say you have to date older because guys that are your age or younger like you I feel like this isn't for everybody but just speaking for a woman that's like 40 years old and you're trying to date a 35 year old a lot of times those type those guys that are that age they're looking at the girls that are 25 and mm-hmm. you cannot compete with that right. you know what i mean but so i feel I, like i, I think a woman you should, that dates in the 40s like and, and maybe she just wants to get fucked good that's it that's happened so i guess many, but, like cougars like who want like yeah. good sex oh woman, i see what you're saying like the who who dates like those younger guys yeah like that. i guess but i just don't see the point in that <laughs> so if sex ain't that important to me because i could just go buy me a a dildo and please myself and it's on i just don't okay. see the point i that cannot for me personally i can't get aroused <laughs> if i am not if i don't respect the man and mm-hmm. if i don't have some type of relationship where i feel like i'm being thought of taken care of valued, or valued. i simply put i cannot I, I don't even get turned on so i can't just it have sex because i'm horny right and now. i want to go have sex no, I mean, you I, know, it, I don't even know. from like a side dude. Or no, anything? you uh, won't even have like a little no. dick in a jar or anything like that. Yeah, I have one in my top drawer by my oh, bed. Wow. Right, his That's name nice. is Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I need Jonathan, I could take him out and put him right back. Okay. But that's me. Right. That's me. You know. But everybody should do what's best for them. Me personally, not me. Yeah. I, I don't see the point. I can this is it. this is too valuable to just to give it away. Right. Just but what if I'm it's horny. the same little side guy that you've had? <laughs> so is trying to justify that side Alexa, you, piece. you ain't got to. And you, that's the thing. You don't have to justify it. Right. You do what you right. want to like, do. You know. Do what you want. If that's yeah. what you want, I say do it. Mm-hmm. You got to do what makes you happy. Yeah. Me, I can't. Right. I have to, I have to respect you. You got to be valuing me mm-hmm. for me to open my legs. Simply put. And the value is, <laughs> I get it, girl. And the value is like what you, whatever that whatever is to that you. Whatever that is to you. Whatever that is to right. you. Yeah. I know what it is to me, but what is that to you? Mm-hmm. You know, that's just it. So you, you just, uh, you, you say for a, a man, like overall, you need to be va- respected. Mm hmm. Right. Yes. You need to have like yourself established. Mm-hmm. You need to have it together. Right. Yes. We don't want dusties. That's just the whole point. <laughs> we just don't want that. No, you know, and and that and and that's relative. Dusties, I love yes, that. it's relative to the person of 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 what that is. But as long as you you have a job, you're maintaining yourself, and mm-hmm. you know you respect yourself. You respect those around you you know, manners, morals, all those, whatever that is to you, those things are important. Nobody can respect someone that doesn't have any ambition to do anything. Right. You what if know they what I mean? have the ambition and it just hasn't worked out and it's been like eight years <laughs> and you're still waiting for the motherfucker to get his shit together? And are you asking me his... this? Right, <laughs> right. In eight whole years and still... It wouldn't be her. She wouldn't have waited. You would have been gone, huh? I wouldn't even get to that point. Like, I wouldn't even entertain it. Right. No, I'm already established in my own right. Right. Why would I go and deal with somebody that's not already? Mm -hmm. It don't make any sense. Yeah. Have you always thought um, this way? Absolutely not. I didn't. I didn't. It was, it's been a journey. And I definitely, I talk about that all the time. I didn't uh, always feel this way because I didn't know my value. I didn't know my worth. You know, a lot of these things that I talk about, 
a lot of women weren't even taught these things. It was yeah. not conversations brought up. You know, it's mm-hmm. like you had to kind of figure it out, you know, yeah. or whatever you saw. That's what you thought relationships were. You weren't maybe taught that you deserve good things like how the white women teach their daughters. I was just about to you say know? that. And um, that we don't teach that to, to our to the black girls. Right. You know, and then when black women in particular talk about having standards and high values, we're shunned we call gold in diggers. society. And gold diggers and whores and, whores and, and sluts. and mm-hmm. Why? Because I say that I want someone to value me. Yeah, right. Why is that a bad thing? Right. And why is it specifically targeted towards the black women? Right. right. Mm-hmm. Because I agree. for so long, the narrative is we got to have struggle love. Yeah. Struggle you know? oh, and And we have to. <laughs> and you a strong black woman. Strong and, black woman. No, I'm not that you know strong, what bro. I mean? Ain't that strong, bro. <laughs> right. I'm ready to go sit down somewhere now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to be taken care of. Right. And, and listen, I'm going to be your cheerleader. I'm smart. All of that. We could go and get it together. I got all the advice and everything. You're going to be right. eating uh, vegetarian. You're going to be eating good. I'm going to be at Whole Foods <laughs> with your kale and all this other kind of stuff. And your shots, your ginger shots. Listen. <laughs> what else? So? <laughs> she got her whole life planned out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shoot. I feel you though. I feel you. It, and it becomes hard to like, you know, um I, I'm I'm for like I, I can't, you know, just have sex with just anybody. Exactly. You know, like I believe in energy and mm, transmitting yeah. energy. Like even if like and I'm I'm not like if we're both getting it together, I'm okay with that. That works for me. Like mm-hmm. we're we're gonna yeah. work it out together or you know, you're at a higher but we have to be giving each other value one mm-hmm. way or another. Right. In that area, that's what works for me. Yeah, that's what works for you. Yeah. Right. That's, you know? Yeah, I did that already. Check. I mean, listen, there's only a certain amount of time. Fi- financial financial situations, that that's real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that I'm going to stay eight years. Girl, you better than me. I know. <laughs> and a whole baby. I, I'm saying. Who's eight years? With, who's what? Yeah, she, me. Yeah. She, she stayed eight years. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, no, I'm not. Listen, this, yeah. I'm not judging you because I've been in that situation before too. When mm-hmm. you just don't know, but then right. when you know, when oh, you, you know, know, it's like right. no, you know, yeah. and you can never go back to yeah. that once you I, know. I, can, I couldn't. I'm say, never go back. To you know, that. eight years in doing that. I can't. Mm-hmm. You know, we're we we have to elevate each other. Absolutely, that's what I'm for. That's what the relationship is supposed to be right. between yeah. the man and the woman. Right. You elevate each other, so it's not strictly just about. The money, too. It's about the connection. Yeah. And are you elevating each other's frequencies? Right. You know? when more, you More so right. frequency. Because you, yeah. you're a soul. You're a whole soul. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And you know you'll know saying? that. Like, you ever, you know, been with somebody and, you know, you're with them and you just, you know, you're just so immersed into them. That's what you want to feel like. And you can feel mm-hmm. like that with somebody. Yeah. yeah. You can. Yeah, and you you're not gonna be operating together. The unity is just mm-hmm. gonna be like out of place, not like no balance. So I, that's you know like I, I I just can't I can't have random sex. I can't I I, I, don't, I don't either. I need that's some sort yeah. of I, connection. I need you know like I, I know what works for me. You know, gotta be stimulated in some way, right? Yeah. And Mentally. it ain't just because you want to come over and drop some dick off, right? I'm yeah. just being real. <laughs> like I'm sorry. Or even like let's just say like yeah, let's you know dropping some dick off because the sex is good, but also like how. But how is that fun if I still gotta wake up tomorrow and I'm like, but shit, this. Rent still <laughs> right, we gotta go. The kids right. need, you know, what like it's not sexy. It yeah. is not sexy. It's not. You yeah. gotta we no, it's not. That's why I can't. I'd rather not. Yeah. Right. No. You gotta tell me the name of um where you got where you found Jonathan from. <laughs> <laughs> See, Jonathan don't do it for me. It don't it don't, you know you need to be on a mission out here. It don't it don't do it for me either if I need it. You yeah, know? Exactly. I'm not lacking in that department, so it's okay. Right, you know, right. but if I was, which I was at one point, <laughs> then right. yeah, I can. But I'm not lacking. I yeah. I'm happy in my relationships. hmm I'm happy. In all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, family, yeah. you know, lovers. Right. Whatever. Yeah. I'm happy. I love hey, it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm all for and it. And I feel like, you know, as a woman, 
you know, if you're not in a serious relationship with somebody or married, then you should not put all your eggs in one basket. You should date. Right. Yeah. You single you know? until you um, put a ring on it, huh? I kind of feel that way. <laughs> yeah, or until there's some type of serious commitment. And mm-hmm. you'll know that. You'll know yeah. You know, when you feel... I believe that. You know? Like you single until you're married. Yeah, no, because... I, I don't feel like I'm single until I'm married. Like, I feel like I'm, you know, like... Until there's something, there's something you know. serious. Like, right. serious. Like, if, right. like if we make plans or whatever. Yeah. Right. Men out here are just fishing sometimes. Like, yeah. they're just fishing. And that's the thing. And that's then, why I tell women, don't cut off everybody just because you met some guy. Because we meet a guy and then we're planning the wedding by, like, day two. Exactly. You know? We're, yeah. like, thinking about what the kid's going to look like. All right, this stuff. right. That's fine, but don't cut off everybody because you think you mm-hmm. know you found somebody because guys don't cut off everybody. Oh, no, yeah. little do you know. Like, oh, no. They even got a whole rotation. Are relationships <laughs> are... They have a whole rotation. <laughs> and you're just one of them. So exactly. So don't, you know, and, then, and I'm not saying that's true for all guys because yeah. I don't want people bashing me, but... We're just a, speaking, a you know. A lot. It is. They over, And they overlap, or they'll be in a relationship. Like right, you'll be later. standing in the club or something next to two other chicks that might right. be with the same guy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know? Yeah. It's a scary some men, Some men are in <laughs> relationships, and they're just bored at work sometimes, and they're slipping into <laughs> women's DMs. And then, and then you're the girl over here like, girl, oh, my God, he is so cute. He slipped into my DMs. Right. I like him, girl. You think... I'm going to go and search and research and, right. you know, and, and find so much other bitches. And mm-hmm. just, you know, that's yeah. how it be. Men just be bored at work, girls. Yeah, don't, they just be, be bored falling. at work, slipping don't. in the DMs. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it how it is. <laughs> I ain't got time. Right. <laughs> I don't have time. I'm not... I'm not being, I make it known, listen, I'm not a part of nobody's rotation. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do it. So either you're going to respect me or keep it moving. Right. I'm not doing so it. So if you feel like you're a part of his rotation, even if, like, let's just say, like, you, you know, would you cut him off? That's a good question. Probably yes. If, listen, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm naive to think that, Maybe when you're dating someone that they probably are not dating others. Yeah. That ain't my business. I'm not ever thinking about that. Don't ever disrespect me. And while I'm dating somebody, I cannot say to them that you shouldn't be dating other people unless we are agreeing to be exclusive. You know right. what I mean? So if I'm not feeling disrespected, mm-hmm. then I'm, I'm not I'm not ever really thinking about other women. I'm only thinking about myself. Yeah. You know, and... People will treat you how you treat yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. Simply put. Mm -hmm. So even if there are other people, like I said, I'm not thinking about that. And I'm not being disrespectful. And that's being confident. Yeah, I I am. Like, just being confident. Like, like, okay, yeah. There's. But I'm not naive to that, though. But I'm not ever thinking about other women. I feel you, girl. And you as you shouldn't. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Because, I mean, they're not like you and you're not like them. So... Whoever, like the man who's supposed to be with you, is gonna just value for you and not Absolutely. think of, about all these other women. Anyway, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. men are fishing girls until they find that big fish. Yeah, exactly. Right. And the woman and the one that he wants, trust me, he's gonna go all out to get it. Right. And, he's and I do believe whatever. That. He's oh, gonna yeah, be, do whatever and make himself available. Oh yeah. He's gonna pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna text you back, call you back. Right. All of you that. won't you have to question disappear. the relationship. You won't have to. Won't you won't have have to, to. Yeah. And I always tell, you know, the women that if you have to question your relationship with somebody, there is no relationship. relationship yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the part the man that actually values you and respects you is not gonna have you questioning you guys' relationship. Yeah. You're right. not gonna have to question where you stand in his life. Right. Right. You know, if somebody can go a whole week three, four, five days without even a simple call or hi, mm-hmm. you don't matter to them. Yeah. Dog, you don't even have to question that. And I get asked that all the time, and I'm like, if somebody can go two days without yeah. just, at least just letting you know they're alive, they don't right. really care about you. Right. right. That's true. I'm sorry. Right. Amen, sister. Right. They don't. <laughs> you know? I feel you. <laughs> A day, a day, you know, cool, because I'm busy. You might be busy, cool, but two, three days, and you don't even simply say, hi, just saying hi, but whatever. Does not care about you, yeah. Right. And even care. if you are busy, still like a simple still, high. It's thinking, yeah. Like when yeah. nobody like, is busy, always, right. everybody out here busy. Girl, right. I always right. say like if Jay Z and Beyonce find time for, <laughs> themselves, for, for each other, right. as far as we know, right? I mean, but look, 
they they go MIA for a long time. They right. find time for each other. Of mm-hmm. course, you gotta find the time. Yeah, people will make men will make time for the woman that he really wants. Mm-hmm. Right, and it ain't just to get sex. It ain't yeah. just calling you at twelve o'clock at night. Like, can I come through? Right, right. what you doing? <laughs> that's mm-hmm. not that's like, not I'm a relationship. I'm sleeping. Yo. Right. <laughs> right. here. get right. out of my line. Can I come through? What? Right, yeah. no. I'm sorry. Right. Come through and drop off the bag at the door. <laughs> I'm coming through to drop off some, right, some money, what, <laughs> right. mortgage, what, something. Yeah, I'm like, sorry, babe. I, I can't penis. make it in the morning, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming now <laughs> at 12 p.m. Exactly. I'm going to drop off this, this yeah. money for you, and then we're going to keep it moving. <sighs> but that's the thing. Nah. It's just like a lot of women, it's a lot of us just just have to learn to value ourselves. Mm-hmm. So things like this is not normal because... Those types of relationships used to be normal. I've been there, so yeah. I know. Right. And I thought that, oh, God, yeah, he likes me because he comes over and mm-hmm. blah, 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 whatever. Little, the little slim pickings yeah. that I did yeah, get, yeah, the yeah. crumbs that right. got thrown. Right. And you think that's enough because you don't value yourself. Yourself, yeah. And, yeah. You, don't, and you are just yeah. accepting whatever. You accept right. whatever. And that's yeah, all it boils Because now to. women, I think, like are just accepting anything just because they want to be have in a, a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool. Right. You could be by yourself. And that, you know, right. and you have to be. you have to be comfortable with being by yourself. Right. You have to because while you're leveling up and you're on that journey, it might be lonely. Yeah, you know, it might be, and you can't allow your loneliness to let anybody come to your house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. That because, bad energy. Right. Mm-hmm. Loneliness will bring in those things that mm-hmm. look shiny and great, but that's not what you want. Not right. what you need. Right. It's just. You're just, it's a filler. Yeah, it's a filler. Yeah. And you don't want that. Mm-hmm. You want people around you that respect you and value you only. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And yes. you might have to wait on that. You, you might know? have to. Because really, you know, you have to <laughs> get yourself to a certain point, like she said, where you can attract that. So that might be the waiting part because maybe you're not ready. Yeah, you're right. not ready at that point. Yeah. yeah. You know? So you just wait. I mean, and, like, you know, I always say this to you, right? Like, it's hard to be alone because as human uh-huh. beings... You know, we're, we're not meant to be we're alone. We're not meant to be. No. Right? no. This journey is not meant for us. It's all about giving love and receiving love. And I, I read the, like, the, the fucking... Um, the realest shit today, it said, um, you have to keep breaking your heart until it opens. Mm-hmm. Like, if you think about that, like, you, you know, like... Time after time, time after time, your heart is broken. And why is it broken? Because you're not, like, you know, receiving the right love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or receiving yeah. it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, like, time after time. Well, because, I, again, yeah. I think it, it stems from, you know, our upbringing. Yeah. And think about how you were brought up, like, were those things even common around your upbringing? Mm-hmm. You know, did you have, you know, your parents in your life, your mother and your father that were teaching you these things? Right. I know and a lot of the saw. women. Yeah, a lot of the women that I talked to, such as myself, didn't have a father figure, mm-hmm. a strong father figure in their life. So there was not that man role model that should have been there to teach yeah. you a lot of these things. So you would have definitely avoided that. I know yeah. I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have. I definitely yeah. would have. And I can. I can honestly say that and not feel ashamed, but I didn't know. Right. You know, I know now. So that's the whole thing. I think that's what a lot of us have to get real about. Mm -hmm. And I think about that all the time, and that's what I have to think about. Like, where does that come from? And you have to look back on your upbringing and dissect it. Mm -hmm. And I definitely had to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Because, like, I mean, if it's true, like, if you see your father, like, providing for your mother, providing for the family, taking care of... You know, like, you know, giving you what you want, buying you, you Just know. Just being a, a being father. Being a father. And teaching you. And teaching you. A, you know, yeah, type of men. That a, you. Right. So true. it's like, okay, so when you go out here and date, you're like, well, you ain't doing it. My dad did that. So, like, I don't, exactly. you know. And you like, would know yeah. not to, you know, yeah. stay away from, you know, the slick talkers. Right. That can right. talk you out of your panties. Exactly. <laughs> with okay. no action. With right. no, with no, right what would that action of, do, though? Right. Exactly. Right. Talk All you right talk. on out of your panties. <laughs> right. And they have, to, they have to show you right. or do no, nothing. Right. the piss Right. Said a few slick words <laughs> in your ear and. Right. There you go. Or what they gonna do. Exactly. The gunners. Right. And that's another thing that you got to be careful of, the the, the gonna. The gonna. I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, gassing you all up, yep. getting Next you all you know, hyped about it. 
All right. Next mm-hmm. thing you know, eight years. Yeah. Next thing you know, <laughs> your panties on the ground <laughs> and you got a wet ass. Right. And yeah. that's it. I'm right. just being real. Seriously, yeah. though. Like, so you got to be thinking, you know, just this, just value yourself. Mm-hmm. And that is a, a gruesome process to go through. It, it's going to be not nice because you're going to have to dissect things yeah. that you don't want to dissect. About and yourself, yes, you know, like it really is. look into yourself. <laughs> Man. But also, I feel like certain, like, you know, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, the higher power, um, he brings people into your life mm-hmm. to tell you about yourself. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? As lessons. As lessons. You know, yeah. some like sometimes, like, don't think about, like, also, you know, going on this journey, you should have friends, you should have, like, real fucking friends. Mm-hmm. Like, not just somebody that's a, a yes man. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I call about, like, elevation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want a man that's gonna elevate me. It's gonna tell me about my bullshit when I'm fucking yeah. acting crazy. Right. You know? Like, you know, and break those, like, childhood chains yeah. that you've been, like, conditioned to think a certain way. You know you need a man that, you know, or a friend or... You know, mm-hmm. just a companion that's going to help you get you through your shit. Yes, yeah, you, you don't want yes men. You don't want that. Yeah. Because they'll never, you'll never grow. You'll never learn anything. Like, right. I I want people around me that's going to correct me when I'm doing some crazy stuff. Like, yeah. put me in my place. Even if it doesn't feel good. Yeah. Still tell me about myself because I'll know. I'm mature enough to understand that it's coming from a place of love and yeah. and not judgment or you're trying to tear me down. I can feel that because I'm an empath. Yeah. So I, I, I can feel yeah, so. if it's genuine or if it's not. Right. So you don't want yes men around you. That's just agree with all the stupid stuff that you do. Right. I mean, and, you know, <laughs> those bad relationships, you know, were part of your process, too. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, women shouldn't or people shouldn't, men, too, don't beat mm-hmm. themselves up. Because without those those relationships, you wouldn't be who you are. You would be a little less naive. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, people teach you. The bad ones and the good ones, mm-hmm. they teach you. So... Yes, your past is is it's not a death sentence. It's yeah. just a lesson. It's just a lesson. It's just a lesson. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. All right, y'all. <laughs> so where can they find you, yes. girl? <laughs> yes, you guys can find me on Instagram, Simply Shanika. Mm-hmm. That's everything is there. So just come to Instagram, Simply Shanika. And that's my page. And, and I love that page. Up. All the little quotes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yes. Like, you know, the more women that have these conversations, you know, and put these messages out there, mm-hmm. the more, you know, we raise our vibrations and we change the outcome of our lives, our dating lives, all of that. Because right. ultimately women hold the power to all of this. Oh, yeah. yeah we do. And yeah. once we realize that things will start to change. Mm-hmm. So let's stop focusing on you know, the Dusties and the negative Nancy's, <laughs> you know, for real. Like, stop focusing on that. Focus on yourself. It mm-hmm. starts with each individual person. Yeah. Yeah. Fo- focus on yourself. And then and that's how things will, check. right, things will start to change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then and then those type of people won't have no choice but to sleep with themselves or, right. I don't know. They're not going to get past you. Right. They're not going to get right. to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not going to get to you. Yeah. So. Okay. So simply Shanika. Simply Shanika. Simply Shanika. Yes. Y'all simply check her Shanika out on, on Instagram. IG. And yes. you also have a, um, you said uh, hair. Yes, hair. It's on there too, but it's S. Adams Collection. So okay. you can find and that hair. as well. And are you on YouTube too? I do. It's the same thing. Shanika okay, so Adams. Shanika Adams. Find me. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all just search Shanika Adams. Yes. Right. <laughs> You'll find me. Yeah, y'all find me. And y'all need to level up. Yes. yes. Level up. Come to my page. Level up. Let's yes. go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into we calling you out. This, this week nasty. we have this. I don't um, what's going on here this girl um she went to the um <gasps> oh my god is this real <laughs> yeah it's real wait <gasps> how do i turn this around what happened <gasps> I, girl i don't know what happened but like it, it looks it, it, it's disgusting it's disgusting they didn't say what happened it it, it was just uh um uh, she got her hair done like a wig like a little cap or something like and they put the glue on there on yeah and then when they took it out oh, it was just my like god stop god. doing that shit it was See, that's why yeah that's why you cannot just be letting anybody do your hair exactly like, that's <laughs> like that looks and maybe it was left on for a long time that's the only thing i can think of oh my god that you know is what I'm horrible saying? that's terrible yeah 
Mm-hmm. So, I girls, mean, come and get your wig. S. Adams collection. You ain't gotta go through. <laughs> exactly. right. You don't gotta go through all of that. You see this beautiful thing sitting on top of my head. Yeah, it looks good. You don't. Too. You won't have to worry about that. Like yeah. protects your hair. All of that. Yeah. And I, I wear my natural hair. I just had it out the other day. I go between the two. And do you have? Do you don't use any glue or anything? No, like that. there's no glue. I love that. No. Yeah. So there's and no glue. yeah, I recommend that because I had no edges. Yeah. To I dealing think glue with is those. Crazy. It All is. of that stuff that they do. I mean, I think it's absolutely it's, ridiculous. It's not. And even when they're putting that cap on there, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. It's still because, glue. Because yeah, it's still glue and, and it's, it's seeping, still through. seeping through. Seeping mm-hmm. through. Mm-hmm. So that's why I go so hard for the wigs. Right. Yeah. You you know, because that's it, the best it doesn't, way. That's doesn't the best damage way, hair. Yeah. And you take it off every night. So I take this off every night mm-hmm. and I uh, massage my scalp. I'll either use, I don't know, like tea tree oil, whatever. Just Girl, I got, do I that. got some, and she hair got some oil. good oil too. Okay. Yeah, nutrient hair oil. Yes. 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 That's, and you could do that with the wigs, but yes. with the sew ins and I guess that's some type of toupee glue down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you cannot that. do that. Yeah. Stop letting these people put all this glue on Thank your head. you. Look, okay, <laughs> I, love it. Exactly. Yes. I, need go, I need to get me some wigs. Yes. Me, yes. Change it up. <laughs> and what's your closing quote, Soy? Healthy home care needs professional products for professional results. Okay. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Where can they find us, Daira? They can find us on Hair and Whatever Podcasts, on Instagram, mm-hmm. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Y'all can email us, too, um, and slip into the DMs, guys. Slip into your DMs with your questions. And if y'all <laughs> want to watch us, obviously, on, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And then if y'all want to listen, and y'all don't want to look at us, but y'all do. Yeah, <laughs> 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 um yeah they can just listen on itunes podcast or on soundcloud all right all right, all right y'all peace love and light thank you for having me oh you're welcome <laughs> <Thanks for coming. laughs> yes.